They've known that I'm gay for from the very on or early on. I never hid it from them, and I've always told them that a lot of times people in the outside may not agree with it or have difference of opinions, and they may even, you know, be mean or disrespectful or say things that are not so nice. But I, I let them know that whatever they say is not a reflection on them or on our family. That what's important is that we we know that we are just as you know dis are equal to anybody, and that they should never feel that they're not because of me being gay. And we I basically let them know that it's a matter of respect. You have to respect everybody around you because everybody has the right to love whomever they wish. And since they were younger, I've taught them that there's nothing wrong with loving whomever you choose to love. Love is great. Why should there be a problem with that? As far as us inside our house, you know, I feel that they're really comfortable with it and we have a really open relationship about, about uh, the way we live and they, they're happy with that. But on the outside, it's the outside forces that I worry about. But inside, we're okay. The only person that's my friend that I've told um, that my mom is gay and Adrian's gay is Javier. These kids are, are really confident with who they are and know that, you know, it's okay to be gay. It's okay to be, you know, the way they are. It's okay to, to live that way, be comfortable in living that way and not be ashamed. I feel okay, but I'm okay with it. I think one of the important things that individuals who are looking to provide mental health services to LGBT families is that they have a familiarity with the social science research and literature on the subject, most notably that lesbian and gay and bisexual parents have parenting styles and child rearing practices that are virtually identical to their heterosexual counterparts. And second, that children reared in these households are no different in terms of their gender role socialization, their psychological development or social development, even their cognitive development. And third, there are no differences in terms of the, uh, their sexual orientation. That is, children reared in these homes are no more likely to become lesbian, gay, or bisexual than children reared in the homes of individuals who happen to be heterosexual.